Hello everyone, my name is Dominono, and welcome back to Mass Effect. So, communications panel, another Prothean bacon. Let's have a look see. How very ominous. Great. Hopefully the final trilogy in the circuit board's meat and death series. You right there, Shep? Apparently. Good. Oh, hello. Something woke up up here. This is not good. Oh, the squid ship. You are not Saren. Nope. What is that? Some kind of VI face. <coughs> Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. Mm hmm. I don't think this is a VI. Again, with the obvious. Existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Uh huh. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. Oh, good. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. I like Protheans that voice. vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. You're a chatty bugger, aren't you? Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Hmm. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. All right, then. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Hmm. Your that doesn't make sense. Your is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. Ah. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. Why? Harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Why? What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. I hate when things talk like that. You do not even rasp the nature of my- Why don't you try and explain it, schmuck? I'll tell you why, because you can't think of a good way to put it, can you, you goober? Punks. Where Who created did you, come you? From? Who built you? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Reaper we I Joe? No beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten. Okay, gonna point out that everything has to have a beginning even if we don't fundamentally understand it. The universe began somehow, we don't know how, there are theories, plenty of reasonably good ones. Maybe we'll never know, but it began somewhere. There's no such thing as no beginning. Nothing exists in the future that did not exist in the past without some kind of event that created it. Genius. Fucking don't try and talk philosophy with me, nerd. 
Are there more of you? Probably. Are you the last of your kind? We should be so lucky. Legion, the time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not yeah, even well. alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Great. Commander, we got trouble. Lovely. I love that. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. The ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. Hmm. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. Oh dear. This console's been disabled. Orders, command. The new. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Nice turtleneck, by the way. Alright then, which way to that? Thanks, autosave. Back to the security office, I suppose. Fine. So yes, the truth at last. Sovereign is a reaper. The reapers are the squid ships. Giant and dumb squid ships. I love talking bullshit. <laughs> You got fucking clotheslined by that blast. Took his head off. Hmm. That sounded like our comms went down. Bridge, that's convenient. Bridge edit. You fucking just tripped over. Not the most terrifying of opponents. Rise from your grave, straight into your new one. Hey, did we get through that without stopping? I think we did. Go team. It is our birthday or some such. Still, Reapers are cool. Even if they do talk like they've got egos the size of Vince McMahon. When are we going to be able to power bomb Saren through this nuke? That'd be interesting. Oh, hello. Yeah, it could. Wow, fucking hell, guys. All I have to do is lift him up and then Garrus just turns him into dust. Fucking sick. Uh oh. That's those fucking rocket turrets then. You're mean, I don't like you. Wah. Off. Fuck them things. Island containments. Supply containers. Yes, I know I have so many items. Deactivate the turrets because it's fucking easy to do that apparently. Did they? Nope, so they did. But I have the power to lift them into space. Oh, hello. Good work on the gun shadow team. Now it's our turn. Uh huh. You fucking go for it, dude. I'm gonna sit here and look at this disco ball. <laughs> no one would ever do that in an elevator, would you? Like stand facing in towards the crowd. Just... Yeah. How you doing? What's up? Even the idea of talking in an elevator is pretty much sacrilege. That's it. We need to clear the gun and set those charges. Isn't that what we've been trying to do all day? Why am I shot, Garrison? Fucking Garris is just on point. Upgrading his sniper skills was a good idea. Grand. This place is weird looking. Krogan breeding Charge bats. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Explosions? They're fun. I like them. Can we have some more, please? Hmm? What the hell are we doing? Just standing around a big empty space with fuel tanks everywhere. Right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander is it? Bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Okay. Do it sometime today, please. What the fuck was that? That's a weird looking thing. 
Normandy, is that you? Yes, it is. Hello, Jesus. I wonder if this is going to result in a defensive position. Sure, just lug that giant mushroom down here and let's be on with our lives. Not like we're in a hurry or anything, fellas. I mean, the thing is a tank, but... Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? Yeah, get out of here. We need ready. to go. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. All right, then. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we... It's okay, hmm. Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Yeah. You keep that nuke safe. All right, see to it. Uh, let's see. We're in tally for a kind of defense thing. And I'm fucking stacked on bloody items anyway. Garrison racks, let's roll. Yeah, Rex wearing your proper armor. Right, which way to wherever the hell I'm going? The AA tower. That's where we came fucking I wish I wouldn't do that. That's where we came from. So this is presumably where we're going. Makes sense. If we're not going the way that we came. Oh god. There's a handful of you, ain't there? Get out of the way. Don't come running straight at me, that's not a good idea at all. I need some kind of punk. Commander Shepard. Maybe you've heard of me. Oh, hello. That was a good idea, wasn't it, genius? You know, for all the talk about how tough Krogans are, they're not very bright. Gotta have some intelligence in your combat strategies. Otherwise you, you know, run headlong into rifle barrels. Garrus. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> Fucking weirdo, Commander Shepard. This way? Yeah, that, that's, that doesn't connect to another Skywalk. No, just this way. Great. Fuck it, I don't have time for that. Uh oh. Uh -huh. It's already here. There's gas pouring out all over the bomb site. How bad? Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Excuse me? What the hell are you doing, Aleko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off. No matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. That's brave. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. That's interesting. Actually, I was under the impression that you were on my comms, but it sounds like you're just off camera. Rescue Caden or rescue Ashley? Oh, decisions, decisions. They're both such riveting, interesting characters who I really feel an affinity for. Tell you what though, Caden, breaking open that bomb, that's fucking ballsy. But ultimately, I haven't used you for a single mission bar the tutorial one. Eh. Well, it's Ash. Radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Obviously. Fight hard, Lieutenant. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. Yeah, I can have some balls. Now, yeah, I don't need to tell you that. You were fucking like, I'm gonna blow up the nuke in my own face just to make sure it works. That's ballsy. I respect that. I may not have liked Caden, he may have been dull as dirt, but he had stones where it counted. First aid station, which I don't need. Fuck it, I'll use one anyway. And then immediately get some back. Auto saves, thank you. That armor may be much better than your old one, Rex, but uh, it doesn't look super good. Almost as if you were color coded for that shit. Yeah, well, fortunately, I'm badass. What's over there? Nothing? Good. Wow, fucking just slaughters those. 
Oh, hello. Saren! Nice to see ya. How you doing? Doing good? Doing tough, apparently. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. I guess we're utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. No, I think I've got a fairly good idea. You'll do anything to get power, even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. I wouldn't call any freedom Truly petty. Dead. You are completely deluding yourself here in this case. I mean, I'm gonna talk Renegade because I need it, but... Still, like, fucking, have you heard how that fucking sovereign douche talks to us? It's not exactly, like, anywhere even close to equal footing. Like, sovereign holds the Reapers. Like, if he's any indication, the Reapers and diplomacy and submission, whatever you want to call it, are probably not, like, going to coalesce super well. I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. You never know but you can't if we win. we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign, though I was aware of the dangers. I had hoped this facility could protect me. Ah, so indoctrination's getting to you too. You don't even have a You're say in this. Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. Probably is. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Mm-hmm. Sovereign needs <coughs> find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the oh, transformation yeah? from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. How would you ever even notice? I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. Is it also the highway? Forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Great. You think it's gonna be that simple? Like a big dumb flying disc? Saren, have I ever told you you look stupid? If not, then I hope I do so now. Saren, you look stupid. Hey, I nailed it. Also, we have a shit ton of guns, what do you have? Well, a rocket won't try and guess, but hey ho. Oh, hello. Now, I said I was going to power bomb you into that nuke, but choke slamming me off the side would be fun too. Nope, you're going to hover on out of here. Georgie, stare down. That is an annoying alarm. Holding up there, Caden. Caden, whatever. See ya. You may 
have been a dork, but you died a pretty good Fire, death. Hang on, hang on. Okay then. That was a pretty effective nuke. Oh well, Kaiden's dead. Bomber, he will be missed, etc. But on the bright side, everyone else is fine. Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? That's life, Williams. Get on with it. Saren has to be stopped at any cost. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. Shut up. Chief Williams, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Elenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Get it together, soldier. Caden's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Seriously, Williams. Excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Really? It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Thank you for this genius suggestion. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Fucking mind your own business when you're in there. Stay out of the fold of mailed porn. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I, I said out of the porn. Yeah, it's more death, more meat, and more microchips. Yes. And at the heart of it all... Sovereign. Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Get it quickly. Snap out of it. Tell me what you saw. Yeah. It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. That it? Fucking great. Good job. We, we figured out what it was. It's a lookout. The Reapers are coming. Thanks, the Protheans. Get way to... Nice and on time. Like a delivery from FedEx. What about the conduit? There were other images. Locations. Places I recognize from my research. Ilos. Ooh. The conduit is on Ilos. Hey. That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Do you want to say Ilos a couple more times? We need to get to Ilos. Forget Thanks. It. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. Oh, so I guess we give up then. Thanks, Tali. on Ilos. That's where Saren is headed. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. Yeah, I yeah. I go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Yeah, Commander. go. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Yeah, let's Set do that. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Doesn't matter. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw a mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. <sighs> When was the last time I was inaccurate exactly? Was it, uh, never? Mm, yeah, it was never, you fucking douche. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing mm. you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. Here's a it's vision, my boot in your Saren ass. Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Uh. Looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. <laughs> Fucking dorks. 
I like how the sad music is playing, even though I don't really care. Oh well. I suppose we should go and talk to everybody and be like, hey, that dead guy, he was okay. Yes, you got anything to say? Nope. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Absolute zip. Hello. What was that? Nope. Just the galaxy map. Oh, there was an icon on the ceiling. But it was probably just the angle. Good grief, we get it, he's dead. Can we move on with our lives? Oh look, over there's where he used to stand all day, every day. Because I never took him on missions, because he wasn't very useful. They are, how you doing? Sure, stand up awkwardly. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? No. I just want to talk. Of course. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Well, He's stop it. Victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. Mm hmm I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. Well, I wonder mm. how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? We'll probably never know, but... There's mm. nothing noble about Saren or nah. what he did. He got exactly what he deserved. Yes, I suppose you're right. I should not waste sympathy on Saren. Not when there are so many others who have suffered because of him. Exactly. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad <coughs> enough we Excuse are chasing me. him across the galaxy. Ah, that's good. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. But seriously, even if Saren thought what he was doing was for the greater good or wanted to try and bring down the Reaper's Room within or whatever, had a bright idea. Could have brought the council in on it, eh, maybe. Could have, you know, warned the entire galaxy about it. You fucking dipstick. But no, he was either driven by, I've got to be the hero, or driven by, I've got to be a cool guy and get a whole bunch of cool shit for myself. <laughs> Not likely, is it? Oh, hello, Captain Girahi and Commander Entola. Where the hell were you? I looked for you, but I couldn't find Jack. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. It was. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. I don't want... No, don't just don't just throw that back in his face. He knew what the risks were. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Hmm. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. Perhaps we will. Rentola, while you're you here. Have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let Fair me enough. see what you have. What do you sell? Sniper rifles, Turian armor. Pistols. Grenade upgrade, that's pretty good. Saris Council license. Fine, why not? The Naginata 8. That's still not as good as the sniper that I use on Garrus anyway. Plus the fucking shit ton of these goddamn things, which is irrelevant. Maybe I'll sell some of that off-screen. Command, I wanted to thank you. Why is that? For Garrus, for everything, taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. Hmm. I've thought about what you said about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. Yeah, I was. I'm glad we agree. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Sarah. I feel like we've had this conversation before. In which case, maybe poor Garrus ran out of things to say. Ash, how you doing? Commander. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Hmm. Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands. And it's my fault. It's really not. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Alenko, you, me. I know. If we hadn't gotten pinned down, you would have been there to help him. Um, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on the coups? Uh, I killed everyone else who was evil about it. In fact, off screen, I actually met a survivor from a coups who turned out to be uh, captured by an evil group called Cerberus who uh, were experimenting on him. And I went in there and then I shot them all in the head and let him go. So, yeah, that's how I dealt with those. We accept death when we put on the uniform, Chief. If you can't deal with that, retire. I 
could never do that. Not before and definitely not now. I have to be worth Caden's life. Dismiss, Chief. Fair enough. Sir. I can understand, like, how you might see them and those things as your fault, but personally, I blame Saren. And ultimately, going to save you was also a tactical decision to save the uh, Solarian team. Like, as units go, Caden's not worth you plus them. Plus, Caden was lame. <laughs> Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. It's one way to put it. What you had to do. I respect your choice. So I right expect from all my people. Just make sure it was worth it. I intend to. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm going to hunt him down and kill him. Exactly. I like the sound of that. Grand. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Rex. Ty, my leading lady, how are you doing? Probably fine, not how you get. Do you need something? Wow, you care so little you've got nothing to even talk about. <laughs> I should go. See you, See later. you later. Yeah, okay. Well, fair enough then, Tally. You can't expect you to give a shit. I mean, did Caden even ever come down here? Probably not. I'm probably the only one who comes down to talk to these nerds. Oh well. I talked to Joker if I thought he'd have anything to say, but he's pretty, like, bit tier at this point. So I guess now we hop off to the galaxy map and go see what else we can do. Go to Ilos. Out in the Terminus systems from the Mu relay, I believe. I remembered all that right, didn't I? Yeah, my brain works. Yeah, good. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Hmm, Ambassador good. Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his gap. Finally! Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Damn Skippy. Gee, I wonder if this will work out as we wanted, since the Council don't believe what a big threat the Reapers are. Probably not, because they're fucking stupid. Oh well. Let's find out, shall we? Stupid bugs. Ugh, I hate today. It's fucking... it's like... it's August. It should be... no, it's not August, Good it's job, September. Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. Should be less hot. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Is that all? You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Mm -hmm. Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Hmm. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Nothing is over. You fucking goober. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. Do there you? are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You Excuse me? You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me great. in the back, Udina. Nobody. Hmm. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The council can handle this with my help, of course. Of course. Hmm. Slimy fuck. Huh. Now what? Commander, I guess I've we got a sit on our hands. Anderson. Oh. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Uh huh. All right then, I guess. Tally, you're a genius. Um, Ash, you're a gunner. And also a gooner. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Thanks. Log. Ash, do you want to, like, get out of my personal space? Exo Presley has the deck. Fucking morons. Ah, yes. Reapers. 
Fucking come on. Now I'm being blockaded by elevators. Frankly, I'm surprised they didn't just jettison me into space. Uh, at some point, we're really gonna have to shoot all of the council in the head. Hey, Tally, I heard a rumor that under those environmental suits, you quarians are partially synthetic. Ooh. No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. Ah. It still makes you look a little like a geth, though. I'm just saying. Hmm. Well, you're not 100% wrong. But, uh, hey, well, now you know why they wear suits. Because living in a regulated atmosphere means no pathogens, means no need for an immune response, means your immune response dies off. Good to know. You're all a race of bubble children. Alright, so I've been around here multiple times. Flux. I should have that unlocked on rapid transit. It's in the wards. Flux. As in, flux off, I'm trying to save the galaxy, you fucking stupid idiot. God damn it. He won't just attack the Citadel, he's gonna attack the Citadel and blow it the fuck up. Elias Keeler, who the hell are you? I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Uh -huh. It's Commander, actually. <coughs> what do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. Stop My buttering me up. Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. Mm -hmm. I really believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't right. remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. Right. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, uh, but restricted. Huh. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Getting you your drug fix isn't high on my list of priorities, Keeler. Boy, is it not. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? Do you think I care? You won't help me keep humanity strong. I'll find somebody else who will. Riveting. Fuck off. Ugh, what a stupid asshole. Yeah, break it down, Doran. I came here for some side quests once upon a time. Doran's the guy who runs this establishment. Where the hell is Anderson? Is he down here? Did I run past him by accident? Fucking might have done. Hello. Oh, there you are. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard you had it. All right, we can do about it. Why didn't you warn me? I tried. The ambassador wouldn't let me get a message through before you die. Huh? Well, I'll give you that one then. But you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. Nothing is over. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Excuse controls me. locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You uh -huh. can be in the terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. All right, That's how? The plan. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel control center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. Right. It's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? He's a captain. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. <sighs> I don't like it. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not uh -huh. going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Punch him in Hopefully the head. He if he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina think of punching him in the side, head. Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer. Or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Um, Citadel Control, then. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yes. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. At least don't make me walk back. God damn it. <laughs> I hate having to jog. Sovereign, huh? <laughs> Yeah, go to Ilos. Okay, we'll do that. Hey, Rita, how you doing? Fine, I hope. Where's there? An, where's the option to shoot this dude? If you've doofus? gotten your temper back under control, I could still use help. You're an addict. Healer, you've got a problem. It might look all the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Yeah, well, don't be stupid. On stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, healer. Yeah, do you think of that? Maybe you're right. 
I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. And maybe you've been saying some bullshit to try and justify your addiction. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You Shut won't up. be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. Yeah. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll, I. Mm. I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. You sound that pathetic. Like an addict talking, and also kind of like a jet. You. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. No, you shouldn't. I'll, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Hmm. Well, look on the bright side. You actually decided to go and get help and tell somebody about it. That's what you should do. That's what you should do. Before I get to punch you in the head. God damn it, you're gonna make me port back to CSEC and then take the bloody elevator. You jerk. You jerk of video games. So, do you two want to have another conversation? No, maybe. Something brief. Mm, entertain me. Can either of you dance? Admiral Kahoku, a respected Hello. member of the Alliance military, has passed away. The veteran mm -hmm. soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Batarians died of natural causes. Uh -huh. Kahoku is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. He was part of a side quest with Admiral Kahoku. He was murdered by Cerberus. Those same guys who are messing with tombs. They certainly get their hands into a lot of pie. God, this elevator sucks. <laughs> are we done? Yes. Ah, so close. Ah, open the door. Yay. Fucking time to go. Time to get the fuck out of here and go to Ilos and do something useful. I'm sitting on my ass all day talking to drug addicts. It's too bad the renegade option wasn't punch him into rehab. Stand by, shore party. Decontaminate. Sir, this is a restricted area. Restrict this. Sir, you can't. <laughs> Stitch that. You must have one hard head there, Anderson. That Alturian's, like, weird armor plates actually aren't that solid. Freeze! Back away from the console! No oh dip. Now. Oh, run the leg. Hey, did you get it in time? Yes, you did. Judging by that face. Nice of the texture to load in. Get us the hell out of here. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Mr. Wizard, get us the hell out of here. Hey, loose from the clamps, and we're out of here. We're in the pipe, five by five. Yeah, looks like they did put some ships in place, though. And that big, dumb Destiny Ascension-looking thing. What is the point of designing a ship so that it looks like a star, anyway? I don't know. All right, then. Ilos is in the moon, really. Fine. So, how do we figure out where that is? Is it going to make itself obvious? Well, I hope so. Yep, there we go. Refuge. Watch. I like that thing. I'd like a model of a mass, really. Like, so big. But I'd also like more time. Sadly, I don't have it. Afraid I'm going to have to end this episode here. But we've made good progress, I think. We got through Vermeer, we've tracked down Saren's ultimate goal, and it's right in front of us, which means we can make proper good progress next time. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.